Well, hey there, Gus. Hi, Miss Shelley. How are you? I'm good. You know, we're going to read a story today, so... Mm-hmm. It's a good day for a book. That's right. Every day's a great day to read a book, right? Yes, ma'am. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. I'm so glad our friends are here, too. We're actually going to read a story about yeah. a farm and a farmer. Oh, wow. How cool. Yeah. Do you know what farmers do? Do they grow food? Yeah, some of them grow food. Some of them raise animals. Yeah, that's true, yeah. That'd be a cool job, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe. I mean, they work a lot of really long hours. Yeah, but it's a very important job. It is an important job. You know, a lot of crops and things like that are even grown here in Oklahoma. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So today we're going to learn a little bit about this, and it's it's a pretend book. It's a silly one. It's called Click Clack Moo Cows <laughs> That Type. Cows don't type. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you're right. Deep friends, do you even know what typing is? Hmm. Is it... Is it making letters somehow, like on the computer? Okay, well, before computers. Oh. Stay with me, stay with me. Okay. Before computers, there was something called a typewriter, and you had huh. to type things out like you would on a keyboard, oh. but then it printed out the paper from the typewriter. It was kind of like a prehistoric computer. Oh, wow. That does sound kind of neat, though. Yes, it's Well, right. different, yeah. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> well, in the story... Uh -huh. Some of the animals have gotten hold of a typewriter. We're going to find out what they do with it. Oh, them. no. The silliness starts. It sure <laughs> does. And we love silliness. Well, this oh, story yeah. is by Doreen Cronin. And okay. the pictures are by Betsy Lewin. Mm -hmm. And this picture book has an award. It's won the Caldecott. We've talked about that's for best picture book, right? Yeah. It seems like a lot of these books have won the Caldecott. Tor. <laughs> yeah. Caldecott. Caldecott, yeah. Yeah, that's because they're pretty awesome books. Yeah. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. well, let's get started. I'll read, and I'll let you read what the animals type, okay? Sweet. Here we go. Let's go. Click, clack, moo. Mm -hmm. Cows that type. <laughs> Still silly. Now, she's written other books that continue after this one that your friends might want to check out, too. There's a typewriter right there. Oh, okay. Never seen one of those. I didn't think you probably had. Our no. friends probably haven't either, but now they have. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's the inside page, the title page. Those cows look funny. They do look funny, yeah. don't they? Yeah, kind of silly. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type all day long, he hears. Here's your part, Gus. Okay. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Now, friends, look at Farmer Brown's face. He seems like he's annoyed. Oh, what is, that's a great word, Gus, annoyed. What does that mean? I'm not sure. It's just what my sister calls me all the time. <laughs> she said you're annoying? <laughs> I think it means you bother people. Yes, annoyed mm -hmm. means he looks like something's really bothering him. Probably that noise. Probably so. <laughs> What's this? Um, is that a barn? That's a barn. Mm -hmm. What goes in the barn? Uh, animals? Yeah, animals, or maybe they store the hay there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, click, moo. Click, click, moo. Click, clickety, click, moo. <laughs> well, they are typing a lot. They're getting after it. Looks like he's going to find out what's happening. He's had enough. What is he wearing? Do you know what these jean things are called? Mm, no, I don't. Overalls. Overalls? Mm -hmm. Is that because it covers over all of their body? <laughs> Probably so, Gus. Sometimes well, you... my brain just gets to going. It does. It is a pretty <laughs> smart brain, I'll tell you. And then he's got on a straw hat. Oh, yeah. Let's see what he's, what's going to happen. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. They've left him a note, Gus. Oh, okay. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. <laughs> Sincerely, the cows? Oh, my gosh. He said it's cold. They want electric blankets. What is an electric blanket? I assume one you plug into the wall? Yeah, that's right. And they heat up. Gus, I've got one for my car. It's the Do best thing really? I've ever owned. 
<laughs> Miss Shelly, you're silly. I really have one, Gus. I get cold. Well, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> it, oh, excuse me. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Miss Shelley, what does strike mean? Okay, strike means when you're trying to stand up for something you want. Oh. And so you say, we're not going to work. We're not going to do the things you want unless you do this. Like maybe you pay us more or you give oh. us a better place to work. Or in this case, they're probably not going to give them any milk. Oh, okay. Let's see what the sign says. It says, sorry, we're closed. No milk today. <laughs> see there? They said, we're not going to give you any milk if we're cold and you won't give us blankets. They're not doing their job. No. That's what that means. Okay. Well, what do you think Farmer Brown's going to do? He needs milk. Probably get mad. Let's see. Okay. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown hmm. in the background. Uh-oh. He heard the cows busy at work. typing again, aren't they? Yeah, they're really busy, just not making milk. I <laughs> know. <laughs> the next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Now, I'm going to let you look at the picture in case you don't know what hens are, friends. Are they it, chickens? <gasps> that is right. Do you yeah. think they're the boy or the girl chickens? Hmm. Probably girl. Yeah, they're the girl chickens. And so what could the chickens say they're not going to give him? Uh, what do we get from chickens? Don't we get eggs from chickens? Eggs. So now he's not going to get milk and maybe no eggs. Let's oh, find no, out. Oh, he's going to be mad. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. We were right, Gus. Oh, wow. Now... This says they were growing impatient. What does that mean? I have no earthly idea. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a clue. Sometimes, mm, when I have to go someplace and wait in line, I get impatient. Any hmm. ideas? Um, fed up. That's a good, that's a good guess. Don't like to wait. That's it. Oh, impatient okay. means you get tired of waiting. Yeah. You, um, you're like, you're ready to get going. Well, the cows are getting impatient. They wanted these electric blankets. I think that you can say, sometimes I get impatient with my little sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get out of the bathroom! <laughs> Boy, they do take up the bathroom, all oh, that. Oh, yeah. Stuff to make them look great. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Boy, these are some smart animals. Oh, yeah. They know what they want. Yeah, they do. Cows that type, hens on strike. Whoever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Oh, does, I love that word. What's that? Furious. Does, does that mean he's mad, like super duper mad? Yeah, super duper mad, Whoa. angry, furious. Not good. Uh oh, Farmer Brown, he's got a plan. Oh. He got out his own typewriter. Now, this is what he said. Okay. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Oh, he made his own letter. He did. <laughs> Sometimes when we want to tell somebody something, we could write them a letter, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. Especially we sure could. if they don't live close by, we can mail them a letter. Yep. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Boy, that's a lot of hard words. I have no idea what most of those meant. Let's talk about it. Okay. He says he's a neutral party. Do you know what that means? New to the party? That's a great guess. I don't know. 
neutral means he's not taking either side. He's not on the, oh. he, he doesn't, um, he doesn't care if the farmer wins or if the chickens or the cows win. He's just kind of, okay, whatever. That means he's friends with both. Yeah, good. He's neutral. Yeah. He's not taking sides. Okay, and then it says he brings the ultimatum. So the ultimatum is the letter, and it's basically telling them you're going to do this or else. Or else. Oh, okay. Guess he could kick them off the farm, couldn't he? He's not giving them a choice. No choices. That's right. Good no. thinking, guys. <laughs> the cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop. But none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. <laughs> you know what it means to snoop? I bet you snoop on your sister. No, never done it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what she said. <laughs> I think snoop means just kind of tiptoe around and check and see if anything's going on. Yeah, that's right. They're yeah. kind of listening, trying mm -hmm. to find out. Mm -hmm. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows? Wow. That's kind of a good trade-off, isn't it? Yeah, and you know what else he said? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the duck said? <laughs> yeah, I can make a duck noise. That's good. I like your duck noise. Yeah. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. Mm -hmm. He left the blankets next to the barn door, and he waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Now, look, the cows and the hens are all covered up with blankets. Oh, wow. I bet they're real warm now. I bet they are, too. Yeah. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. <laughs> We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. <laughs> click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. <laughs> Did Duck take the typewriter to Farmer Brown? No, it seems like he kept it for himself that crazy duck. He got a great idea from the cows and yeah. chickens and he thought, I'm going to get what I want. What do you think's going to happen? Oh, I don't have any idea. Looky here. Oh, he got his diving board. Got his diving board. <laughs> Good for you, duck. <laughs> Boy, duck was the neutral party until he figured out mm, yeah. maybe they're on to something. I could get something I want. He learned a good lesson from the cows he and the it. chickens. Yeah. Well, what did he ask for? A diving board. A diving board. Yeah. yeah, that sounds pretty fun. You like the diving board, Gus? I do. It's so fun to do like uh, dives and cannonballs, big splash. Splash everybody yeah. and get their hair wet, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's Here. a blast. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I, I get a little scared on the diving board. Not the regular one, but the real high one. Mm -hmm. A little scary for me, Gus. I'm sorry, Miss Shelley. It's all right. Thanks, friend. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, we're so glad you joined us for our story today. Yeah. Click, clack, moo, cows, that type. I hope you'll check it out. Maybe you'll buy it or check it out from your library. It's a great one to have. And remember, she has some other ones after this, too. Oh, yeah. All right. So until next week, we hope you read and have a real good week, and we'll see you soon. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye, friends.